Hi all, and I thought I'd just give you a quick view of the new Google TV launcher that you can now sideload onto your Nvidia Shield. This is the For You pane, and as you can see it's got a lot of recommendations on it of things that you might enjoy. Not entirely sure where it's got its recommendations from, um, but I assume over time that will improve. The Your Apps row is very similar to the one that uh, was initially on the U, the NVIDIA Shield. You can move them around by moving it up and down. So if we wanted to move NVIDIA games into the ribbon on the front page, we just move it into them top 12 there. And then we can move it on that ribbon as well, wherever we'd like to put it. If we go further on down, we'll see things like trended on Google, uh, comedies, and all sorts under there. The next one's movies. And that's going to show you some movies from different streaming services. It appears in the UK that it's mainly reliant on Google Play Movies and Disney Plus. So here we can see one that's to buy on Google Play Movies. We can click the trailer button and it will play a trailer. Although we'll obviously stop, we'll stop that before it uh, gets copyright claim on it. If we choose one that is, for example, on Disney+, Plus, which I do not subscribe to, when I try to play it, it will try and install the Disney Plus app. I can, however, add it to my watch list, mark it as watched, rate it, um, which will help to build up them recommendations, and there's that option to buy it on Google Play as well. The show section is the same as the movie section, but for TV shows. So you'll see lots of different ones in there. The app section has these massive big buttons at the top that you can't change for YouTube and Disney+. Plus. So if you long click on them, it's just going to say open. Um, it then has down the bottom apps curated from the Play Store. And your apps as well as some suggestions here for different categories. Library will show you things that you've added to your watch list as you're going along. Um, and then on the right hand side is settings, which you can get into the normal Android TV settings. And then there's this option here, which crashes the launcher every single time. So you'll now see the launcher reboot itself, hopefully. There we go. And then the last one is search on the left hand side. This one really has issues uh, on the side loaded devices. It doesn't want to bring up a keyboard when you go into the search box. You can choose the pre populated ones, for example, um, clicking on comedies. Here's Shit's Creek. And if we click on Netflix, it will launch Netflix, although it won't work on the screen sharing. Um, and it will go directly to the the program itself it doesn't seem to do that on all of the apps so for example on BBC iPlayer it won't go directly to the app same with ITV Hub as well as it just goes to the main program as opposed to the app the my brilliant friend has two seasons so you do get the assistant responses like you would normally sometimes they don't work so well so clicking on this I don't have a front door camera so it displays YouTube videos which is weird and then Tom Cruise it's just going to show again YouTube responses for that so there's definitely some improvements needed on this app um, but I think overall it's an improvement on the Android TV interface that we've known and loved for the last couple of years that's been a bit stale um, it's been a bit boring and I know that a lot of people are unhappy because this looks more like the Amazon Fire TV which people assume is just advertising to you and yes there is a little bit of that however I also think that this is 
a collaboration between many of the different services which is something that streaming services need because sometimes you do sit down to watch a TV show and you just don't know what to watch so if Google can get its algorithms right and recommend us stuff that we actually want to watch across all the different services then maybe this will be a success however if it's very heavy on one service like it is at the moment on Disney Plus um, it's probably going to put people off. Um, so really, as with anything Google, it's going to be telling on how it evolves over the next few months. Or whether it's like everything else, they launch it and then it just stagnates. Let's hope it's not that case. Let's hope they can get some more providers up on board. Um, certainly within the UK, we'd like to see some more with the the Chromecast with Google TV, which is a bit of a mouthful, the Sabrina device, with that launching very shortly in the UK, it'll be interesting to see if we can move away from just the apps that so far seem to work, which is ITV Hub, BBC iPlayer, Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, and Prime Video. So the US has got other services such as Pluto, Peacock, uh, things like that. HBO Max, uh, which we just don't have over here. We've always been quite underserved by the Android TV app community. So let's hopefully see some of those coming through. Things like all four, we need that on Android TV instead of sideloading it with My5, with Sky, with Now TV, all these other ones that have got apps at the minute. Let's see if they get integrated into this new recommendation system. So yeah, there you go. There's a, a quick whistle-stop tour of Google TV as it is at the moment sideloaded onto my NVIDIA Shield. So we know it's going to have some problems, but hopefully it's a quick overview that will give you a little taste of what's to come. Thanks a lot. Bye.